Hey everyone, welcome back. It's been a while since I uploaded, so I thought I would upload something very interesting today. Today I'll be sh showcasing my new double decal M35, and I'll be comparing it to the replica M35 helmet that we use in our World War II short films, which I'll now insert some footage of. So this is the original on the left, and this is the replica on the right. As you can see, they are quite different in like overall shape. So if we look at the original, it's more domed at the top, whereas the replica is quite flat. Another thing is, is that this is more rounded, where this is more comes to a point. The replica helmet is a bit longer, and the the vents look a little bit lower than on the real one. So, going to the front of the helmet for both. The replica is quite wide and the skirts don't pop out nearly as much as the authentic one. These cheap replica helmets don't really seem to like fit the general shape of the Stahlhelms very correctly, but they look good and is a good stand-in for real ones in the films. Go over to this side. And still see how pointed the edge is for the reproduction. And <clears throat> on the back there, you can really see the, the flat top on the reproduction. Go over to the liners. Now this is quite a salty example of an M35, but I got it as a gift from a family friend and I'm super happy to have it. So here's the liners. You can see how the, the pads or lips in the, um, in the reproduction are a lot bigger than the ones in the original. But unfortunately, I cannot compare the chin straps as the replica does have it. Whereas the authentic one is missing most of the chin strap other than the little mounting tabs. So the real ones have a production stamp at the back of the shell, which you can't, you can sort of see it there. You can see an 07 in the camera quality. If with the eye, it looks like 207, um, one three maybe and then on the left side of the brim if i can find it there is a a stamp can't really see it you can sort of see it with the camera right there but that would be the size of the helmet shell the liners are a different size in comparison to the shell from what I've been able to gather. Um, this is a untouched one. Um, yeah, it was sitting in a, in um, my family members, friends, friends shed for years and years and years. As with this, a an Australian World War Two helmet, which I might show later. I do believe the rot at the front, where the liner is missing, could be caused from blood in the liner, because when the blood, it will go brown in the liner, but after this long, it will rot and disintegrate the liner. So that's why I think it's so poor in this area. There isn't a ton of original paint on it. It is, it is quite unkept, but it is a beautiful original. Here we can see the remains of the tricolor decal. You can see 
the red there. You can see <clears throat> the white and the black. And then we can also see the uh, decals, the army Wehrmacht decal. You can sort of see the remains of the swastika on it. And if with the eye at a certain light and angle, you can also see the wings of the eagle. Although these have, I think these decals were denazified. There is quite a bit of pitting at the top of the helmet. The split pins are missing the paint. It is an M35 because the vents are a separate piece to the rest of the helmet. It's a very beautiful original helmet. Probably in the best condition next to my M my battle damaged M42, which I probably haven't showed off yet. You can see that the liner is quite ratty and the chin strap is missing like previously mentioned. Usually there would be a drawstring holding all the, the flaps on the leather together. Going over to the replica liner. Of course it's brand new. There is a stamp there. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, but it's there. And there is no production stamp on the back. The shape of the replicas are quite out in comparison to the original. It's actually quite noticeable from the top. You can see how much larger and longer the replica is to the original. So that will conclude my video between the the real and fake M35 Stahlhelm. I'm super happy to have the um, double decal original in my collection because if you told me four years ago that I'm going to be having a double decal, I'd call you crazy. So that, that will conclude my video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one in like a month or so. Bye.